Good morning, Daylight Savings Time wife. How are we today? We're good. We're good. Nice. Okay, so we did some pre-blood glucose measurement or pre-meal measurement. We are at 81 today. Um, I explained a little bit yesterday of why we are generally not recommending this, and this just relates to simplicity and also all that stuff is going to get normalized within the context of eating other meals. And speaking of meals, what do you have on the docket today? Today I'm doing 180 grams of white rice. Mm, that looks amazing. The coffee looks a lot better. Yes. Are you excited about this? I'm excited. Oh, I bet. Okay, so we may be driving to Costco when it's time for you to uh, recheck your blood glucose. So we may be doing that in the car. That'll be awesome. So yeah. we'll check back soon. Okay. Okay, wife, so have glucometer, will travel, what the heck are we doing? Uh, this is the two hour mark after my... Um, oh, 76. 76. Yeah, we're kind of backlit, but... After the uh, 180 grams of white rice, we did test at the one hour mark, just out of curiosity, and it was 121. So my And fasting... just to clarify, the 180 grams is the scale weight. It's 50 grams right. of effective carbs. Right. Yeah. So my fasting blood glucose this morning was 81. Eight one hour mark post consumption was 121, 121. and now it's 76. Now it's down to 76. And how do you feel? What are the subjective Right now measures? I feel great. At the one hour mark, you know, I, I, I thought that I would, you know, I definitely felt a little more foggy headed than the applesauce, but okay. you know, at the tour mark. And it was, it was much easier to consume all that rice. Yes, it was. Which is, has some implications for hyperpalatability, palate fatigue, all that stuff. Okay, we'll check in soon.